Finance, technology and policy are entering a new era where they're actually converging and becoming much closer. And that presents an opportunity to reinvent financial services for the future that serves customers and businesses in a better way than it's ever done before. What makes the finance, technology and policy programme really unique is it recognises and embraces this convergence of all three aspects and recognising that together they need to be seen in building skills, experience and understanding so financial services can generally be reinvented. Students will have the opportunity to take up to 11 different courses um, from different parts of the University of Edinburgh and then they will also have the opportunity to tailor their degree to focus more on one aspect than the other. For example, they may want to focus their degree more on the fintech side, um, take on more contact that will allow them to manipulate large amounts of data, um, or they may decide to want to go towards the regulatory route a little bit more. So that will require them taking more content from the School of Law and perhaps from the um, School of Social and Political Sciences. So whichever way the students want to go, they will be able to have um, somewhere to direct their skills once they leave the university. If you look at most of the problems in the world today, they, they really span disciplines. And so um, thinking about interdisciplinary approaches to those, and in particular interdisciplinary programmes that are, are dealing with those problems uh, in different ways and looking at different perspectives on them is really critical. And so a programme like this that's using tools from the humanities and social sciences, but also giving you some fundamental understanding of, of what uh, those techniques mean and what they are, I think is really important and very interesting. Well, we expect students who are coming on the MSc Finance, Technology and Policy to have um, a minimum of 2-1 or second class upper degree um, at um, undergrad level um, in some specific, um, mainly quantitative programs from finance, from economics, um, from engineering, from informatics. Um, but we are also take a look at those um, who do not have those specific backgrounds but they may have um, employment history within the finance sector so if they do have that and something that in an area that is very relevant to the contents of the program we will take a look at it on a case-by-case -case basis and we'll be able to make a determination on whether they are suitable for the program.